Hey. You guys want to hear about the world's most monumental dropping of the ball? The year is... like... six. And there's this dude called Orpheus, who's the son of one of the muses. I want to say this one. No, actually. This one. She's my favourite. And also, Apollo, who's the god of, like, maps? I think? Hang on, let me check. Uh, the god of healing, medicine, archery, music, poetry, and the sun. Fuck off, that's like nine different things, that's no fair. And also justice, dude, pick a fucking lane. So when Orpheus was a kid, his mom taught him to sing, and his dad taught him how to play the lyre, which is like a harp, but smaller, and gayer somehow and so as you might imagine the guy is just popping off non-stop bangers his entire life i'm talking hit record after hit record he's like a greek taylor swift with even more eyeliner women want to be with him men also want to be with him because of the liar but orpheus only has eyes for this one bior called eurydice now eurydice is an oak nymph which means she's 50% lady, 50% tree, and 100% stone cold bitch. So Orpheus kind of boogies across the dance floor towards her and says, Hey, you want to fuck? You know, the way how poets talk. And she looks him up and down and she's like, Dude, there is no way in a million lifetimes I would ever consider getting with you. Huh. Unless, yes, you can play me. Yes, the most beautiful love song ever written. <gasps> so anyways, they're getting married, and the priest, or whatever the ancient Greek equivalent was, Rabbi, Jedi, he's like, hey, so, do you? And they're like, we do. And he's like, now kiss. And then they... I, I, I don't know how to make him... So, like, they high-five, and everyone cheers. Orpheus is like, I love you, tree lady. This is the best day of my life. And the tree lady is like, I love you too, Orpheus. There is nothing that could ruin this perfect moment. <laughs> ah, for fuck's sake! Our boy Orpheus is gutted. So gutted, in fact, that he tunes up his lyre to a minor key and begins to play the saddest song the world has ever heard. And this song is sad. So sad that the world stops turning, the rocks start crying, even Hermes comes down from Olympus just to get in on some of those emotions. Now, you probably know Hermes as the blue fella from Hercules. He's also the god of... Post? Or something? Yep, yeah, fucking killed it. But also, and not a lot of people know this, he also invented the gay tar. So when he hears Orpheus playing his heart out, he comes down and he's like, Dude, you are unreal. I fucking love Fallout Boy, man. How did you even get this sad? And so Orpheus tells him about how he married a tree, and then she got bit by a snake and died, and Hermes is so moved by the story, he convinces Orpheus to go down to the underworld, grab Eurydice, and get the fuck out of there. Now, you have to understand, you can't just walk into the land of the dead and come back. That's a one-way street, kid. No mortal has ever accomplished anything even remotely like that. Except for, like, Heracles, obviously and Theseus, and Odysseus, and Sisyphus, and Alcestis, and Sora. So Orpheus is in Hades the place, and he walks up to Hades the guy, and he says, Hey, Hades the guy, give me my fucking wife back, you piece of shit. <laughs> you know the way how poets talk? Hades looks him up and down, and he's like, dude, there is no way in a million lifetimes I would ever consider giving you your wife back. Ah, huh. Unless... Yes... You can play me... Yes... The sickest song ever written! <gasps> Hades is fucked. 
See, on the one hand, he can't just start letting people out of the underworld willy-nilly. That sort of goes against the whole point of being dead. But on the other hand, Orpheus fulfilled his side of the deal with the banger, and if Hades goes back on his word now, he's gonna look like a dick. So, a trial it is then. A test to see how much Orpheus really trusts his tree wife. Alright, pop star, I'll let you take your Eurydice. But as you climb out of hell, you must not turn around to check if she follows behind you. That's it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Just don't turn around? Well, like, you know, it's, it's a bit more complicated than that. Like this? Fucking yes like that! Jesus! What? You just turned around! Yeah, but that was just like a practice go, wasn't it? No! What do I look like? Fucking Johnny practice go allower? Ah, well, give us another go. No! Ah, uh, don't be a dick. Fine, you get one more chance. Fine, good, great, perfect. Alright, babe, you ready to go? And so Orpheus was kicked out of the underworld empty-handed, save for his trusty lyre and his newly awarded official certificate for donkey brains. Heartbroken, Orpheus vowed never to love another woman and instead dedicated his life to busking on Patrick Street. Until one night, a group of drunk ladies came staggering out of the brogue and were enchanted by his angelic cover of Teenage Dirtbag. And even though they were all desperately trying to ride him, Orpheus said no, like a good Christian boy, as his heart would forever belong to Tree Lady. Jealous and humiliated by this rejection, the group of women band together and decide to... Fucking murder him, oh my god. <laughs>